dare all, ISFIT participants from all corners of the world, former and present ISFIT volunteers, Bishop Munib Yunan, the Student Peace Prize Laureate of 2001, Min Kun Ain, members of the Student Peace Prize Committee of 2013, members of the Nomination Committee, distinguished guests and parents, I'm so happy to see you all here, and I want to thank you for the inspiring walk of peace we took together. <laughs> Today, we are gathered to celebrate one person, a person who himself cannot be present. We are here to recognize the work of Majid Tavakoli, he could not witness, as I did today, how all the 116 nationalities that you represent walked peacefully together through the streets of Trondheim. We walked together not to protest, but to show our support. Majid Tavakoli is a student leader fighting for a better society for himself and others in Iran. He got imprisoned on the student day in 2009 for speaking up for a better and freer Iran. Tavakoli is a spokesperson for peaceful solutions. He believes in a democratic society based on participation and the freedom of speech. Even from prison, he is a strong voice for democracy and academic freedom. He puts a spotlight on the human rights violations he and many others are victims of. Tavakoli is a symbol of student resistance. By banning and arresting students from their studies on the basis of gender, beliefs, or peaceful activism, the Iranian authorities are violating the obligations under international law. The Iranian authorities must recognize that students, like all in Iran, have the right to peacefully express their opinions on their own or in association and to peacefully demonstrate. This includes the right to express the criticism of the government. Tavakoli used this right, and for that he's been arrested. But still, he is not silent. We are not silent and we will show him and the world that we have not forgotten. We will not be silent until there's justice from Ajit Tawakoli. This justice we all have to work for. We all have to contribute to create peace. Peace is about talking and listening. Peace is about dialogue and understanding. The exact same things we've been doing here at Rörus and the Trondheim. ISFIT and the Student Peace Prize is all about learning by listening to what others have to say. And we hope that every one of you listens. We hope that you will remember what is said. We hope that you will bring forward the voice of Tavakoli. Because through visibil visibility and attention, we can strengthen the hopes of many. This evening, you walk together for one person. You passed a monument with his name engraved. You have contributed to a great mosaic of him in the hall. You show, we show, that Majid Tawakoli is not forgotten. We are talking once again about his voice and his work for a better future. With mere words, we can make a difference. That is why I urge you to pass them on. Previous winners of the Student Peace Prize have emphasized that they have gained a lot by receiving the prize. Confidence in their cause, trust from fellow students, acknowledgement from the international community, and maybe most important of all, hope. One former laureate is here today, Ming Kunai. When he heard that he had won the Student Peace Prize while imprisoned in Burma, 
it gave him hope. He was not alone, neither is Majid. Tavakoli has heard that he is the recipient of the Student Peace Prize of 2013. We, hope to, we have to hope that this will strengthen him and all those who believe in him. We hope that one day he will be able, we will be able to invite Tavakoli to stand on this very stage that once again we will have the opportunity to speak to thousands of students and urge for change. And this is possible if we all do our part. In his letter, titled, Let's Remain on the Side of the People, which Tavakoli wrote in 2010, he emphasized the responsibility we have as students. I read, For you have accepted the title student to bear the responsibility in the harshest of times to uphold the moral high ground associated with it. You are the inheritors of a high tradition which, despite years and years of repression, has remained alive and vibrant. You are the model of change, bestowed with a critical mind, endowed with the courage to, find, to, to defend criticism, to accept criticism, and to preserve your stronghold of enlightenment. I hope that we will not let Tavakoli down. I hope we and students all over the world are able to uphold the moral high ground and continue to question, question the norms of today's society. There will be no change unless someone asks why. But if we speak up, it is never too late to create change. Majid Tavakoli and the winners to come are rep representing hope for the future. We in this hall are also representing this hope. We are the future and it is up to us to make it a better one. For students and youth all over the world. Thank you. Higgly Oseda. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this prize is awarded to honor a student who has been in prison for his struggle for the freedom. The prize will give us courage to continue the peace movement when we are struggling for peace and freedom, imprisonment and other kinds of troubles are unavoidable. We have to face them. In such a situation, it becomes so important to know the recognition from the international community that we are not forgotten. We appreciate support from the international students. It has been a long tradition that a high moral value associated with the Students' Peace Prize. I believe that this prize will become the light of Northern Star for Majid Tafakoli from Iran, who is now going through 
the darkest corner in the prison. I'm sure that our warm helping hands can make him stand firm when he is about to collapse. I'm telling uh, this based on my own experience. When I was about to collapse during my time in solitary confinement, this student prize, this student peace prize became the most powerful helping hands for me. Please allow me to revisit the situation I was facing in 2001. I had been in solitary confinement in a very narrow cell for 20 years at that time. I had no idea when I could be freed. I satisfied myself for being a political prisoner over one decade when I learned about awarding of this peace prize to me. I feel that it is the best recognition by the international community for those who are struggling for freedom. I had gained more strength and courage to carry on regain democracy and freedom in my country. I strongly feel that this prize was given by the international students, not only me, but also to all of fellow students in our country still fighting for freedom. I am encouraged by the facts that a precious tradition of the student peace prize is still very much alive today. And sure, it will be alive in the future as well. We all, the international students community, will be ready to cooperate for peace around the world. I truly believe that our unity and movement will become our group song for peace during our march toward free and happy lives for our goal. Thank you so much to you all. Committee. Uh, the committee has consisted of uh, experts from Norwegian media, academia, politics, and civil society, and representatives from the uh, National Union of Students in Norway. Firstly, um, I would like to thank the Nominations Committee for its professional and thorough research into the individual candidates, all deserving great recognition for their efforts and struggle. <clears throat> After careful consideration, the Peace Prize Committee concluded that the Student Peace Prize for 2013 be awarded to the Iranian student activist Majid Tabakoli, currently imprisoned in Rajai Shar, Iran. The reasoning of the jury is as follows. Majid Tabakoli is a role model for all students dedicated to the promotion of peace and democracy around the world. The jury emphasizes Majid's continued work towards allowing students the right to participation and contribution despite the threat to his own safety. He has shown great capability to inspire and motivate others to engage themselves in the same cause. In a turbulent context dominated by violence and oppression, Tabakoli stands as a spokesperson for peaceful solutions and development through reform towards a democratic society 
based on participation and the freedom of speech. I would also like to take the opportunity to elaborate. In a geopolitical context, dominated by confrontation between states and nations, one must not forget that democracy seldom comes about by external pressure. Democracy grows rather from within a society. Freedom is a need, a craving, embedded in all of humanity. Thus, the forces of democracy exist in all societies. Wherever democracy is absent, it still has its proponents. Najib Tavakoli is a dauntless example of such proponents. Having already served one jail sentence and knowing the risk of repeat incarceration, Najib Tavakoli still chose to speak out about the injustices he saw. There are moral absolutes. Democracy is fundamentally a moral issue. This I hold as non-debatable. However, the exact content of the term and how to best bring it about are much more complicated questions. Surely the answers to these questions depend on the local, geographical, cultural, and historical contexts. Democracy never comes about as a result from outside pressure, certainly not by the use of force. Democracy can only grow from the inside of a society or a nation. Although their motives may be noble, may be noble, some actors on the global stage currently seem to prescribe to a methodology of armed threats. This is not the way to go. If love for good values is the alleged motivation for violent aggression, then the logical consequence naturally becomes an undermining of those very values, thus only deepening the conflict and divide. By undermining our values, we also undermine our greatest allies. <coughs> Rather than subscribing to concepts like preemptive strikes and intimidating rhetoric, we need to acknowledge internal forces like Tabakoli and do what we can to aid them. These are our allies. The first thing we need to do is to aid these. Our brothers and sisters, our fellow students, is to recognize them, to see them, and to spread their message of a society based on values like respect, understanding, participation, equal liberties, and freedom of expression. This prize is our attempt at doing so. In absence of popular support and in order to survive, the dictatorship in Iran has to spread fear among the people. They do it by persecution and arrest of activists, journalists, intellectuals, and by public executions and amputations and extensive use of violence. In this way, they appear more powerful than they actually are, and they make the people feel more powerless. It's in this context that we understand why the Iranian authorities were so threatened by Majid Tabakoli, a peaceful 23-year-old student who just spoke about the fundamental human rights and for what they put him in solitary confinement and sentenced him to nine years in prison and lifetime ban from education. Majid Tavakoli's words about the human rights situation and especially when he addresses the supreme leader these words still shake the fundamentals of the Iranian regime. His peaceful words are much bigger threat to the regime's existence than any threat of a military intervention. 
His speech demonstrates that Majid and the student movement are not powerless. Today's prize is not only a prize to Majid Tawakoli for his courage and peaceful struggle for democracy and human rights in Iran. It's also a declaration of support for all members of the Iranian student movement and all those who struggle for the basic human rights. This prize inspires them and gives them strength to continue their struggle. I am moved by this week's events in honor of Majid Tabakoli. By seeing the pictures of the veiled male Norwegian student saying, we are all Majid. And especially today's walk of peace through the center of Trondheim. Iranian regime put Majid in prison to shut his voice. But today, Majid's voice is louder than ever because you are his voice. I can imagine how inspiring it will be for Majid and the other members of the student movement when they hear about all these events. I can tell you that two days after announcement of the prize in September, the news reached the prison and it made Majid and the other prisoners very happy and they actually celebrated it. I'm sure that this week's events would be even more inspiring to them. It gives them the strength to keep their fate in a better future while they are in captivity. The prize has also a message to Iran's supreme leader, Mr. Ali Khamenei, that the world is watching you. And you will be held accountable for what your regime is doing. I would like to say a few words to Mr. Khamenei in Farsi. Agai Khamenei, شما فکر میکنید تا کی میتونید با انداختن بهترین فرزندان ایران در زندان با سانسور با اعدام و قطع عضو در ملع عام به بقای حکومتتون ادامه بدین یقین داشته باشید که در آینده نه چندان دور بهار ایران نیز فراخد رسید و آن روز شما و دیگر مسئولین نظام باید در مقابل مردم ایران به خاطر تمام و ظلم و ستمی که در این سی و چهار ساله مرتکب شده یه جوابگو باشید. My friends, I'm certain that sooner or later the Iranian spring will arrive. And one day, Majid Tawakuli will be standing here and receiving the prize on behalf of the student movement. But until then, we are all Majid. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>